I've had lots of comments and emails asking what this peculiar looking antenna is from previous videos. And although I made a really brief video a couple of years ago, I thought I'd redo it but with lots more information and explain exactly what this is. These really are as rare as hen's teeth nowadays despite being somewhat mass produced from the late 1980s right up until the mid 1990s. These were made and sold in the USA by a company called Max Antenna Systems of Gering Road, Gloucester, Massachusetts. Another company called Cellular Security Group sold them under the same name. How I came to get hold of this antenna is interesting in itself. If we travel back to 1991, you can see a good friend of mine, Robert G1MTT, outside Hereford Crown Court, showing a similar antenna on top of one of his radios. This was the day he was fined £9,500 by a judge for allegedly playing The Laughing Policeman by Charles Penrose over the radio and, quote, talking in a silly voice. What about this for something different? A businessman has been found guilty of jamming the amateur radio system here in the Midlands with the song The Laughing Policeman. Bob Hitchcock was prosecuted following complaints from dozens of radio hams. He told the jury he liked to think of himself as a comical character. Fast forward to 1994, and you can see the same antenna on Robert's desk during his interview for the Arena Tuning In documentary from the same year. A couple of years ago when I had a PO box, I received a package from the Laughing Policeman Wireless Society, which contained the very same antenna from the court footage that had been found after nearly 30 years. This is one of a handful of antennas released by Max Systems Antennas during the late 1980s and early 1990s. There's virtually no information online about these anymore, and the 800 model seems the most elusive. A lot of people in the comments thought it was a discone antenna, but it's actually a ground plane, but we'll circle back to discone soon. These highly specialised single band antennas were created for the person who wanted to concentrate their attentions on stations operating in this particular frequency range without having to deal with the compromises inherent in multiband antennas. The Max Systems 8HH was introduced in 1989 as the series antenna for 800MHz monitoring. The sales patter said you'll hear more signals and weaker signals with this antenna, which covers 800-950MHz and provides 2.1 dBi of gain. The Max Systems 8BA is another high performance antenna covering 800-900MHz that attaches directly to the BNC jack on the back of a base scanner. It also provides 2.1 dBi of gain and is designed in the same way. The Max 800 is the version I have which oddly enough I couldn't find any information on the differences of this compared to the other two. Both the 8HH and 8BA terminate with BNC connectors but my 800 terminates with a PL plug. The other model, the Max CMP, was designed for base station scanners or on a scanner preamplifier or 800MHz band converter. The Max 800 can be mounted directly on a handheld scanner or at the rear of a base unit. If you use some good coaxial cable, it can also be mounted outdoors on a length of PVC pipe. Of course, at 800 MHz, you'd need a really low loss coax and the shortest length possible. The Max 800 feeds with a PL259 connector from the feed line, although a model with an N type connector was available on request. The Max HH for use with handheld scanners was $31.95 plus $5 shipping, and the Max CMP for base station use was $35.95 plus $5 shipping, so if we convert that to pounds, that's around 80 with today's inflation. The Max 800 is made with stainless steel silver solder, two crimp connectors, a bulkhead SO239 connector, and a machine PVC end cap. It was supplied fully assembled and came with a 6 inch PVC mounting mast. The mid 1990s saw the new, improved Max 800 ground plane antenna released. This was, quote, a new version of an old favourite. The classic Max 800 has been re engineered for optimum performance on the new generation of hot scanners. What that means exactly and what the upgrades were remains a mystery. These antennas were released for one reason and one reason only listening to mobile phones. During this time, synthesised scanners were becoming popular alongside the development of mobile phone networks. This led to a craze of people listening in on mobile phone conversations, and for that purpose these antennas were perfect. 
However, the Telephone Disclosure and Dispute Resolution Act changed things after April 26, 1994, when it stopped the manufacture or importation of cellular capable or cellular restorable scanners and converters. Between 1988 and 1993, 32 different scanners were manufactured with 800 MHz capability. Of these, 22 had cellular coverage right out of the box, and the remaining could have their cellular censored frequencies restored. One way that people got around this ban on cellular capable scanners was to order them from outside the United States. The prices were higher, but you could get models by mail order that you couldn't get in the US. Technically, these radios weren't supposed to get through customs. However, there were reports that some scanners shipped to the US by British firm Javiation were seized in Chicago. Javiation actually put out a disclaimer beforehand saying that it couldn't guarantee the receipt of the scanner. Anyway, these antennas worked equally well for receiving mobile phone calls here in the UK too. Users reported average results on both VHF and UHF using this antenna, but it was really just designed for 800 MHz. Reception between 800 and 900 MHz was recognisably improved over standard multiband antennas, with stronger signals from stations, and with reception of stations not previously copied by people. Max Antenna Systems made some other interesting antennas such as this 46 to 49 MHz baby monitor dipole for those with no morals, but perhaps even more interesting than the Max 800 was this, the Max Discone. This wideband discone resembled a miniature version of the larger discones. The Max Discone was only 5.5 inches tall because it was designed to cover higher frequency ranges of 800 to 3000 MHz. It was constructed of several metal rods threaded at one end and capped with plastic at the other end. These rods were screwed into a machined aluminium hub. The Max Discone, like the Max 800, was designed to mount on the top of a portable scanner or frequency counter. A feed line and remote mounting was required to use the Max Discone with spectrum analyzers, bench frequency counters or base scanners. The Discone was available from radio stores for $49.95 or directly from the manufacturer. With shipping, that's around £140 with today's inflation. If you own one of these antennas or other antennas by Max Systems, or you have any information on the company, or maybe it was your company, please get in touch.